You may have seen Jenna Bush Hager on network TV having fun covering the news of the day, but you might not know this TV correspondent and daughter of a former president is also a former teacher and the mother of two. She's a busy lady. No kidding. <laughs> now Jenna Bush is teaming up with the Propane Council to educate people about school bus safety and the need for more energy efficient buses. Jenna, thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me, Emini and Sasha. Now tell us, why is it important to remind people about school bus safety and efficiency? Well, I was a teacher and so I watched every day in, in inner city DC and West Baltimore as my students were being dropped off at school. And I, and I knew that their parents had fears about putting them on these buses. And then as a mother, it just exasperated that feeling times a million. You know, I now understand the desires of all the moms that I worked with, that of my kids, you know, the mothers of the kids that I taught. They all want the same things for their for their kids. They want them to be healthy and successful. And when they put them on those buses, they want to make sure they're safe. Absolutely. So how safe and efficient are school buses? Well, I, one of the things I wasn't aware of, even as a teacher and as a mom, is that there's a choice when it comes to school base buses. You know, we just think, or I just think, of the diesel-fueled buses of my childhood, which are loud and uh, that smell. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys remember standing in line waiting to get on the bus and that huge puff of black smoke going into your face. They're now propane buses, which may not seem like a big difference, but they are. Uh, they're far quieter, which means they're better. Um, they're safer for our students. The drivers can hear, which seems vital. Um, they also are better for our environment and better for our students' health. And they're less expensive, which is really important. As we see budgets slashed across our country, it's really important that this money is going back into the hands of student-based programs, back into to the places where they need to be, back into the classroom. So tell us, how exactly can propane buses save the school district's money? Well, they're less expensive. Propane buses are less expensive than diesel, diesel buses. So recently I was in Boston and I rode with some awesome kids on a bus. Um, and this, they just told me that the Boston, after adopting propane buses, has saved $1,000 a day and transportation costs. So this is real money that's going back into student-based programs. So they're, they're, they're less expensive, which is really important. I know we're definitely concerned about saving money, but also about our kids' safety on buses. So where can we find more information? Well, for a list of ways that you can talk to your kids about the routines to keep them safe and for ways to advocate for propane-fueled buses, go to betterourbuses.com. Jenna Bush Hager, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us on Coffee with America. Oh, well, thanks for having me.